And so they're, they're not in unfamiliar territory, but they'd love to go through to the final, of course. And the uh, first side out goes to uh, Brazil, the service from uh, Metal League, just a little long. Remember, this duo, the Dutch, have a slight advantage in, in height with Van Ersel being 5'11 and Meppelink being 6 foot. We'll see Meppelink at the net quite often. Who can win that blocking battle as Brazil tries to come out aggressive, serving the ball. That one just goes long, but I love that traditional top spin, powerful serve to try to establish, establish yourself initially out of the gate. Oh, confusion from uh, the Brazilians. Juliana does well to keep the ball into play. Hands, great defensive work from Brazil, but it's not the kind of play that they hope to start this first set with. And the Dutch are running the Brazilian duo ragged at the moment. Oh, and Antonelli again, just a little too aggressive. Gives that Brazil the advantage. 2-1. I can't fault the Brazilians right there. It's an aggressive swing. You're going for it. Sure, you missed it. But remember, the Dutch in that rally just had two opportunities to put the ball away, and they did a nice little roll shot. It wasn't effective. The Brazilians will run down your shot, and they will try to be aggressive. The Netherlands have to turn up their aggression immediately. Nepal link with service. Juliana sets for Antonelli. Great shot from the Dutch duo, great play for Holland. Meppelink puts it away to take the lead. And Van Ersel laying it out right here, gets up, and then thunders that ball, but that's the aggressiveness that we're talking about. You want to come in, don't shoot the ball, hit it hard, earn that point. Well, uh, unlucky there. For Van Ersel. Really nice defensive positioning by Van Ersel, just unable to control it. You want to get in that position, you want to be relaxed with your arms, and you want to bring that ball up on your side of the net. That time, she ricocheted it just out of bounds. Juliana with service for Brazil. I'm going to need the side out here. Oh, and a little bit of help from a service error. Van Ersel to the back of the court to serve. Nice, powerful jump serve right down the middle of the Brazilians. Off the net. Oh, and Holland do so well to keep the ball up. Antonelli reads. Oh, it's long. The ball is out. And the Dutch draw three clear of Brazil in the early exchanges. This is a great start for Holland. You couldn't ask for a better start. Look at this acrobatic dig, keeping the ball in play. And then fortunately for the Dutch, Maria Antonelli tries to go to that deep corner. It's a very difficult shot to execute, and she misses it just by about six inches. Marlene Van Ersel with service. Meppelink at the net. The height advantage of the Dutch duo paying off so far. Juliana now on the attack for Brazil. Oh, and there you see that six feet tall Meppel Link using all of her height to keep Juliana out and shut the ball out. Great block for Holland. The ball, the ball right there is just set a little bit too tight for Juliana to do anything about it. You got to leave it about two to three feet off the net so that the ball doesn't get close to the blocker. Oh, a good attempt at a big power jump serve. Spinning all the way through, but not quite in the court. A little too long. Side out for Brazil. Still trailing Holland by three. Brazil with service. Maria Antonelli to put the ball into play. Aggressive play right there. Maria Antonelli in transition, chipping away at the lead. Really blasting that ball when she gets an opportunity. She knows that's the way to get back in the mix here. But still, the Dutch with a nice lead. Well left by the Dutch team. Meppeling reading that well. This Dutch team 
very strong. Both of these players were in the Olympics in 2012, but they were with different partners. So they have some Olympic experience under their belt. Beautiful dig. Oh, and was that a touch? No. Mepelink right down the line, it looked like there. And out of bounds, trying to be a little too precise. You see, she's got a lot of line to work with there, but she tries to go right on the line and just out of bounds. And slowly but surely, the Brazilians are creeping back into this. Juliana with service for Brazil. Another service area. That's her second service error. And helps the Dutch to keep their three-point advantage. Now, what I mentioned earlier, Madeline, Madeline Meppelink played with Sophie van Gestel, finished ninth place in 2012. Marlene van Ursel played with Sonny Kaiser, also finished ninth place. So they both finished ninth in the 2012 Olympics, but with different partners. Now they have come together and formed a really solid duo, winning the European Championship last year and looking solid right now. Good side out for Brazil, narrowing the margin to two. Side switch as well. 6-8, Brazil with service. Right of your screens is Van Ersel. On the left is Mepelink. This is Maria Antonelli with service for Brazil. Important serve. Great spike from uh, Madeline Mepelink. Set was a little close to the net, but she manages to put it away. And look at that scenery. That's got to be the best seat in the house on the top floor of the cruise ship. Oh, and a service error from Meppel Link. Side out for Brazil, just within two of the Dutch. Yeah, you saw that cruise ship cruising by, and that's one of the unique things about this setting here in Stavanger, is the fact that it's right on this harbor and cruise ships actually pull up. They can actually watch the tournament from the top deck. It's something special. Holland on the attack. Juliana has no answer to that. Scampering backwards. Another good shot from Madeline Mepelink. Mepelink putting it away at the retreating Juliana. Van Ersel with service. Three ahead, still Holland here. Oh, that's a great jump serve. Juliana does well to hold on to it. And it just catches the fingertips of a metal link. Wow, look at the enormity of that cruise ship coming by. A unique setting. You don't get that view from any other beach volleyball tournament in the world. Only here in Stavanger. It may be a little colder the weather, but to see something like that, to have this backdrop is something very special. Dwarfing the center court, this huge cruiser that's coming past. The Dutch in control right now. They have really fended off the Brazilian push. They've expanded their lead to three, and if they can go into the technical timeout with a three-point edge, that's exactly what they had planned. Meppelink serves to Antonelli. Juliana sets for Antonelli, and the ball is good right on the line. I love how they have the love boat playing in the background. Very symbolic of the huge cruise ship that is causing a lot of the fans on the top row to take a look as it crosses by center court. There's no love down on center court right now because Holland are looking to get the better of Brazil here and are doing very well. Great shot from Van Ersel. Keep the three-point advantage. Well, the Dutch are showing why they are the defending European champions. They're very strong right now, they're consistent, and anytime Brazil has a push, they push right back. As you see them having a little nourishment on the sideline, keeping that nutrition. Banana is obviously a big tool for athletes because of the potassium. Anything you can do late in a tournament to make sure that your muscles are in the right frame, that they are hydrated, they're ready to go. Remember, last week, 
in porridge. It was very difficult for a lot of players because of cramping and dehydration. Even though it's a little colder here, you gotta stay on point. Well, we say goodbye to the Costa Fortuna, the huge cruise ship just about passing center court here in uh, Stavanger. 12-9 to the Netherlands here on center court. Semi-final number two. The first semi-final going to Agata and uh, Barbara. And the second Brazilian duo of uh, Juliana and Antonelli. In touch, but need to close that gap now. The Dutch number one, Van Ersel, Marlene Van Ersel, 27 years of age, out of Amsterdam, with service here. Looking to keep that momentum going. It's a good jump serve. Here comes Juliana up at the net. Van Ersel, oh no, on the second ball from Mepelik. Antonelli, good save there from Van Ersel, who looks to finish it. Juliana sets for Antonelli for Brazil now. Oh, and what a great spike from Antonelli. Important side out, that for Brazil to narrow the gap to just two points. A solid point and rally on both sides of the net. There you see Antonelli finally terminating the rally that crossed the net multiple times. Great defense on both ends. But the nice aggression by Antonelli gets Brazil the point. Antonelli with service. She can't get back to the court quick enough. Possibly a little too quick. Trying to pick up on where they left off with that superb side out. But they hand the point back to the Dutch. 13-10. And uh, this time it's uh, Madeline Meppelink with service. 25 year old from The Hague, the Dutch city that will host the forthcoming World Championships at the end of this month. Now, oh, and a uh, good shot from Juliana, almost into the face of uh, Van Ersel. Nice, nice uh, reaction time by Van Ersel in the backcourt, gets the ball up in the air, but not controllable not playable but you're starting to see why this is the number two and number four team of the tournament very high level very equal and they're going back back and forth at one another extremely aggressive good shot from uh, madeline mepelink it's a fantastic shot great court vision gets up sees the defender in the angle goes down the line Beautiful volleyball right there by the Dutch. Marlene van Ersel. Oh, that is a really good jump, sir, but just a little too long. Well left by Brazil. I'm not sure they had the answer if it was in. I don't, I don't mind that serve at all because you're going for it. You get it over the net. The defenders have to make a decision, and it's so close. Service back with Brazil. Antonelli puts the ball into play. Van Ersel, good shot, good work for Holland. Three points clear once again at 15-12. Juliana not too happy under the net. There's a little bit of a collision right here. You see that? And Juliana was complaining that maybe she took her out and didn't have a play on the ball, but she's not going to get the call this time. Good serve from Mepelink. Juliana now on the attack. That's a classic shot. Precision and power from the Brazilian. Side switch. But Holland still with a two-point advantage at 15 to 13. Yeah, right now, no matter how hard Brazil comes, it seems like the Dutch have an answer. And they've maintained this two to three-point lead. And if the Brazilians don't make something happen quickly, this one could be over and go in the Netherlands' favor. Good set for Van Ersel at the net, gets the better of uh, Juliana's block. You called it spot on, Dane, because they're creeping ahead again. Three points clear at 16-13. First team to 21, remember, in sets one and two. Only to 15 if we have to go to three. We need to be ahead by two clear points, and they're maintaining that three-point advantage at the moment. Here's Van Ersel with service. Juliana sets for Antonelli on the attack for Brazil. It's, it's good. I thought that may be a little long, but the ball was on the line. Any part of the line the ball can touch to give the attacking team the point. Brazil narrow the gap to two with Maria Antonelli with service. Oh, 
Oh, floats it to the feet. That's a little disappointing from Mepelik there. Finally, a little break for the Brazilians. They have not cracked into that two to three point lead and now they've cut it to one because of a great serve by Maria Antonelli. Can she do it again? Oh, the ball is good. And uh, a great shot from Juliana, taking it on the second ball to level the scores. This one's tough. It's close. The line judge calls this one out, but the head referee overrules it immediately, calls that ball inbounds, and all of a sudden the momentum has been absolutely stolen by these Brazilians, forcing the Dutch to call a timeout. Well, it's a good time to call a timeout. Hopefully trying to stop the concentration, stop the momentum for the Brazilians who are getting right back into this first set here. There you see from the graphic, three back-to-back -back scores for Brazil. Been, look at the middle, very equal, only giving up one point at a time. Early on, the Netherlands had a couple groupings of three points each, and when you get those runs of points, that's where you get the nice little lead. Unfortunately for the Netherlands, they were playing so solid, had everything going their way, but Brazil found a little break in their armor to where that they could score a couple points. They've served them tough. The Dutch have given up a couple points, and right now you couldn't ask for a better matchup here. Tied up at 16 in an all-important first set. Whoever wins this set usually goes on to win the match and can play a little more comfortable in that second set. Antonelli with service for Brazil. Van Ersel now on the attack at the net. Great shot. And an important side out for the Dutch, justifying the call of, for the timeout. Stopping the point run of uh, Brazil. Madeline Meppelink, 25-year-old from The Hague, serves, looking to break the Brazilians here. Antonelli sets for Juliana. Good dig for Holland. Another great save for the Dutch. Here's the set, here's the attack. Oh, Juliana can do nothing with it this time. And it's a very important break for the Dutch to go two points clear. Great work from Meppelwick. The Dutch really turn it up when they need the point right there. Beautiful defense in the backcourt by Van Ersel, getting that nice hit from Juliana up in the air, giving the Dutch an opportunity to score. And what I like about the Dutch is they know how to convert when they need a point. Brazil now will think this one over as the Dutch take a two-point lead. This one is a battle. This is the type of volleyball you want to watch. Really high level, really equal team, and they know the importance going at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, those two quick points off the back of the Dutch timeout. Now the Brazilians are hoping to do exactly the same thing. They've called this timeout, 30 seconds of course, and they will hope to come back and break the focus and concentration of the two Dutch players. Madeleine at Meppelink on the left of your screens, and at Marlene van Ersel on the right. They've already made it to the final of the Moscow Grand Slam this season. Disappointed in Porec last weekend in the first major of the 2015 Swatch Beach Volleyball Series, part of the FIVB World Tour. And they're right back where they want to be with their game. Now, these are the make or break points for this first set. Holland with service. Epelink will put the ball into play. I think if the Dutch can take this point, they'll take the first set. Antonelli sets for Juliana. Up she goes. And it is a side out for Brazil. Really solid cut shot there by Juliana. And you have to think right now, the Brazilians are talking to one another as they cross over the side switch, trying to strategize, try to figure out how they can manufacture a point. They have gotten the Dutch in trouble from that service line. Can Juliana do it again? Oh, great shot from uh, Madeline Meppelink. 
Yeah, a little tight with the set by Van Ersel, but Nepeling being a six footer, 183 centimeters, gets up big, goes cross court, and remember, Juliana only 5'10", so a bit of a height advantage there, and Mepelink uses it. Van Ersel with service. This for set point in the first for the Dutch. Juliana sets for Antonelli this time. Antonelli goes cross court. Good side out for Brazil. Antonelli getting a lot of action right now, comes in. Hits it angle against the bigger blocker in Mepelink. An important point for Brazil. Maria Antonelli with service. Mepelink sets for Van Ersel. Van Ersel puts it away. Set point for the Dutch at 20 to 18. That's how you want to play down the stretch. At the end of a set, you want to come aggressive, just as Van Ersel did right there. They knew the importance of getting to 20. Now they're going to have two set points. They only need to convert on one. <laughs> Mepelink with service. Deep float serve. Antonelli sets for Juliana. Off the fingertips of uh, Mepelink. Still set point for the Dutch. Yeah. Set point when you're serving and set point in when you're receiving are totally different animals. Of course, it's difficult to score when you're serving, but receiving a little easier. Can the Dutch capitalize? Juliana serves. Big, powerful, it's too big. The error, service error comes from Brazil. And Holland take the first set, 21-19. The Dutch supporters on their feet, absolutely delighted. The European champions get the perfect start to the first set. And now need to keep the momentum going to potentially take the second. A little bit of pressure for Juliana and Antonelli here. Here's the confirmation and the stats. Meppel link, 21 to 19. 13 to 11, the attacks. Blocks one, aces one from the Brazilians. Service errors was the biggest fault for the Brazilians. Six to four. And you see, there's not a lot of blocking going on, stuff blocking. It's more defense. It's a, it's a battle in the backcourt. Van Ersel against Maria Antonelli. Who can get that ball up more often and who can convert and put that ball away? But I'm very impressed with the Netherlands, the fact that they knew exactly when to call a timeout. They really used the timeout, came out, scored the next two points. That puts them in the driver's seat, and they never let go of that lead. Brazil couldn't do anything about it. Both teams playing at a very high level, but a little more strategic on the Netherlands side, and that was the difference. I really like their aggressive game, how they are stepping it up when needed. Here comes set number two. Can Brazil respond to that first set loss? Perfect start for the Netherlands. Let's see if Brazil can get back into this match with Antonelli serving the ball. And a great start for Brazil with service. Antonelli and uh, Juliana, 1-0 up. Nice dig, Maria Antonelli, and what does she do? Put it on top of the net for her partner, Juliana, to shoot it to the open court. 31-year-old from Rio de Janeiro. This time with a float serve. Oh, good block at the net from Juliana. Van Ersel, oh, good, good shot. Much better than the first attack for the Dutch, leveling the scores. Juliana putting up a really solid block, so instead of trying to overpower it and go right through it, the Dutch decide to roll over the block to the open court. Great decision. Marlene Van Ersel, just 27 years of age out of Amsterdam. Over 400,000 US dollars in prize money against her name. A lot of that has come this season. On the first hit, oh, but it's gone too deep. What an amazing play by Brazil. They got in trouble off of the serve from the Dutch, and they were reeling. Then the set came from Agatha all the way to the net. Juliana put some heat on the hit. And guess what? Van Ersel tries to go over on one with the defense shot. It goes long, so getting out of trouble is Brazil. Olympic bronze medalist Juliana with service. 
Oh, great shot from Madeline Nepalink. Nepalink getting quite a few serves coming in on that right side from the beautiful set from Van Ursel, and she challenges the block. Why not challenge the block? Juliana has not stuff blocked many balls. Here is Juliana. Good save from Van Ursel. Van Ersel looks to put it away. Good dig from uh, Juliana. It'll tip ball. Great save from Meppelink. Can the Dutch finish it here? Oh, what a disappointment. All the work had been done by the Dutch players. Now that's where endurance comes into play. When you have a long rally, sometimes you get your feet caught up in the sand, maybe you get a little bit out of position, and then you end up chipping that ball into the net. Conditioning such a huge part of this game of beach volleyball with just two players out there. You gotta grovel and keep that ball in play. Van Ursel down the line. Nice shot right on the line, actually, from the retreating blocker, Juliana. And it's Van Ursel that will take the serve. Side out for side out at the moment in this second set, but Holland have won the first, remember. Three all. Good jump serve from Van Ersel. Juliana sets the ball up for Antonelli of Brazil. Antonelli goes cross court a little too deep. Important break for the Dutch. Side switch at seven points. It's interesting. Beast volleyball, of course, we play two to 21, the third one to 15, but we switch on increments of seven, and that's so that one team doesn't get an advantage due to the sun or the wind. We're seeing a little breeze down on the court right now, and it's in the face of the Dutch. That would mean they're on the good side, and they can rip that jump serve. Antonelli. Oh, almost caught at the net by Meppelink, but not quite. Side out for Brazil, all the fours. Big jump serve by the Netherlands into the wind, and then Brazil is able to squeak it in between the block of Madeline Meppeling. So the more difficult side would be the Brazilian side, and that's because the wind would be at their back. If they hit the ball too hard, it'll sail long and out of bounds. Nice tip ball from uh, Van Essel. Side out for Holland. You always want that wind in your face. Let's see if Meppelink will use that jump float serve to get that ball moving. Juliana on the attack for Brazil. There's some talking under the net between the two players. Juliana, you see, going back and forth with Meppelink. There's a little collision. Does Juliana come under the net? That's the question, and that's what Meppelink was asking the head referee. Remember in the quarterfinal, we saw a lot of back and forth between these Brazilians and Germany as Maria Antonelli gets an ace. But what I was saying is Brazil not afraid to chit chat under the net with the uh, opposition. It's part of their game and right there, a little lapse in concentration for Van Ersel. There's no question the, the quarterfinal with these two Brazilians was a real needle match against Germany. Oh, that's a good spike from Van Ersel, but Giuliano saves it. Antonelli looks to finish it. Oh, and after such good work, a little disappointing for Brazil. Celebrations for the Netherlands. Tying the points up once again at 6-6. You see how difficult it is to get an offensive attack when the set is coming from 25, 30 feet off the net. It's just difficult for the attacker to see the court. They're basically hitting blind. Marlene Van Essel to serve. Juliana sets it up for Antonelli. Pokes it over the top of the fingertips of that metal link. 7-6, Brazil side out and take the advantage. Points when you're serving are very hard to come by out here, very scarce. Neither team giving up points when they have a side out opportunity. Juliana with service for Brazil. Van Ersel now on the attack. Oh, and that's a very important point score for the Brazilians in their quest to get back into this match by winning the second set. 8-6.
An important break for Brazil. The Dutch need to be a little bit careful. Continue to be aggressive. Don't let up at all. Keep the pressure on. Mappelink sets it up for Van Ersel. Oh, and the ball is out. Net violation, though. Net violation. The point to Canada. The point to Canada. The point to Holland, I should say. My apologies. Fortunate break for the Netherlands there. That ball definitely hit long and out of bounds, but due to the net violation, they receive the point. Good service from Maple Link. Oh, oh. The first ball! And they level the scores. Really nice shot by Juliana trying to go deep over the defender, but somehow Van Ersel holds her balance stays in position and then is able to hit the ball over on one. So they're right back in the mix, tying it up at eight. Mepelink with service. Antonelli sets it up for Giuliana. And uh, not the second time for Van Ersel. Side out for Brazil. Back with the advantage of 9-8. Antonelli to the back of the court to serve. 31 years of age from Rio de Janeiro. So, a little bit of help from the net, but a good dig from Meppelink keeps the ball up. Antonelli again at the net with Meppelink. Touch of the net. Touch of the net from Brazil. Maria Antonelli followed through there. It looked like you were right. I thought the Dutch had netted because it happened so quickly. But it was the offensive player in Maria Antonelli who nets. So once again, point goes to the Netherlands due to a violation from Brazil. Van Essel with service. Oh, that's a very good jump serve. And the ball still spinning. Oh, but what a return from Brazil. Real test right there for Brazil because that serve was absolutely thundered down the line. It was passed nicely by Antonelli. She gets herself up, gathers herself, and then puts it away. And you see the emotion out of Juliana right there. She knows how important it is to save those tough serves. Van Essel. Oh, blocked at the net by Juliana. And uh, Brazil go too clear. Finally, a stuff block by Juliana. Remember, she's only five foot ten inches, but she blocks really well. Has great form, good technique. Gets over, targets that ball back into the court, and now Brazil too clear. It's another good deep float serve from Brazil. Van Ersel with a very powerful cross court spike. Side out for the Dutch. And technical timeout. Pleased with the way Brazil has responded. Didn't know if they would respond this way after losing that first set, but they have stepped it up. And both of them are very playing at a very high level. Siding out, so important. Remember, you need a good pass, you need a good set, and therefore, that gives you a nice, great hit or attack, we call it. And the receiving team normally wins the point when you're in a side out situation. You see that pass, the set, and hit to the corner. So when you win the coin toss at the beginning of a match, you usually want to receive serve because you have the advantage. It may be different, like, for instance, in men's tennis. It's more advantageous to serve because they more than likely score the point when they're serving. Not in volleyball. Usually you have the edge when you receive serve, just as Brazil is doing now. Is that good? Oh, the flag stays down. And I thought that ball was going out, but Van Ersel, she has a wide smile on her face. The ball is good, it's on the line. Here it is, it hasn't quite hit it the way she wanted to, but a little bit of luck. Ball just clips the blue line, and it is all 11. Meppling with service for Holland here. 
This is a good service run from the Dutch. Juliana attacking at the net. On the second ball, and it's effective for the Dutch. The Netherlands now take the lead back from Brazil at 12-11. So many plays have been so close on the lines, but most of the time they've gone the way of the Netherlands, and so they've really capitalized on these fortunate opportunities, and that has given them the lead here in set two. Antonelli now on the attack for Brazil. Now Juliana. Well, Van Ersel tried to go over on one, and it's a risky strategy because it became a free ball for Brazil. They were able to set it up, and then Juliana with the aggressive play. Van Ersel has to be careful on that over on one. We saw it work earlier, but it doesn't work every time. Maria Antonelli, all square at 12 all. Brazil with service. Oh, a little bit of help from the net there really stretches the Dutch, but they recover well. And Van Ersel with a lovely shot to give the Dutch the lead once again. And Nick, you said it perfectly. They recover well. Look at that pass. Very close to the net. Looks like they're in a lot of trouble. Looks like the advantage is on the Brazilian side. And then the Netherlands flip it, put that ball away. That's a sign of a really strong team getting out of serve-receive trouble. Marlene Van Ersel with service. Oh, that is a sensational ace and at a crucial point in this second set. 14-12. Really nice, going right down the middle. Van Ersel extending, going for that nice traditional top spin jump serve. Not a lot of women serving that top spin jump serve. They're serving a deep float jump serve, but this one has all sorts of top spin, all sorts of power. Juliana showing her class there. The pressure on the Brazilians, not the best of sets from her teammate Antonelli. It's a fantastic angle on this cross court spike. Side out. Brazil with service now. And it is Juliana to put the ball into play. Another good shot at the net from Van Ersel. Just tips the ball over. If you notice on offense, when Van Ersel comes in, her partner sets the ball and then looks and makes a verbal call to Van Ersel to hit the ball angle. That's why that shot is so far away from the defender. Impressive communication between the Dutch players. Meppel link with service. Antonelli sets it for Juliana. She does exactly the same shot. But down the line rather than cross court. It's yeah, so important the communication. When you're a setter and your partner's hitting the ball, once you set, you look over across the net, see where the defense is, and then give your attacker a verbal cue. Antonelli. It's a good save from Van Ersel, but Juliana is now on the attack. Another Van Ersel now for the Dutch. Antonelli keeps the ball up. Juliana, nice soft little ball. Nepal link, unable to put it away. Antonelli now looks to finish this rally. Oh! She does just that to tie the scores at 15 all. Remember, Brazil must win this second set to stay in the match. That's an important rally. Remember that rally because Juliana after went to the crowd celebrating. The Netherlands both end up on the ground exhausted. Remember, both those teams played the same rally. One of them, the winner, is motioning to the crowd. The loser of that rally is on the ground. And sometimes those long rallies are big turning points. The Netherlands have to watch out for a push from Brazil right now. Antonelli looks to keep that momentum flowing. Van Ersel, great shot. Important side out for the Dutch. That's how you stop momentum immediately in its tracks. You come back with an aggressive play. It's always in the Netherlands has been bouncing right back when Brazil looks to have something going on. They bring the power and get the serve back. Marlene Van Ersel. 
with service. Look for that big jump serve. Oh, just a little too long. That was a brave serve. If she'd have pulled it off, it could have been the turning point of this second set. Not quite going the way for the Dutch. The scores are all tied once again. 16 all with uh, Juliana to serve for Brazil. Success with the service here could turn this second set Brazil's way. Float serve from Juliana. Here's Van Ersel attacking at the net. Oh, wow. Slams it into the face of Maria Antonelli. That was fierce. Check this out. Coming in on the left side, Van Ersel. She just absolutely thunders the ball right off the head of Maria Antonelli. She doesn't know what hit her or where the ball is. Just a beautiful hit right there. Meppling with service for the Netherlands. Antonelli sets for Juliana, attacking at the net. Van Ersel looks to put this away. Oh, and she does. Good strength. Too clear. And all of a sudden, the Netherlands are looking good to take the second set in a similar style and fashion to the first. Putting the pressure on in the closing stages here. A look of despondence from Antonelli. Already taking one big hit to the side of the head and face. Timeout is called by the Brazilians. Understandably so, Dave. That hit to the side of the head, that, you know, sent a message. We're coming aggressive. Don't you flinch for just a minute. And then all of a sudden, the Netherlands serve and score again. So they scored those last two points. And as you like to say, they're too clear. And that's all you need, right? A two-point advantage. And they've been able to manufacture it right at the end and there's that hit again knocking her visor clear off Van Ersel showing her power from that left side right now and remember Maria Antonelli is a great defender for her not to be able to get out of the way and take a shot on the head that's an important hit and it definitely sends a message you know the longer you play out there you take them against off your head you hit some people and as long as no one gets hurt it's part of the game and Antonelli for sure would love to get some revenge serving for the second set here the Dutch team Antonelli looking for that revenge now well getting the better of Meppelink at the net and an important side out for Brazil here comes Antonelli. She challenges Meppelink, but her block is not close enough to the net. She has a little bit of a gap between herself and the net, and that results in the kill and the successful shot for Maria Antonelli. Maria Antonelli with service. Very important side out for Holland once again. Meppelink absolutely delighted to have put that one away. It's the communication of the Dutch. You can hear them making their verbal calls all the way up in our broadcasting booth. So they're communicating well and they're making the right call. Van Ersel with service. There's this big jump serve again. Deep to the rear of the court, Juliana. Oh, and uh, unlucky. Meppelink able to get there. Then Urso in the spot, but Juliana hits a flat ball. Very hard to track as a defender. Then Urso gets it up, but out of reach of her partner, Meppelink. Juliana and the Brazilians need to break the Dutch here. If Holland side out, they'll go to match point, not set point. Here it comes from the Dutch, and there it is. That's huge right there. A very important point for the Netherlands if they're going to wrap this thing up. They're clear by two, up 20 to 18. Now they'll have two opportunities to score. Remember, the first opportunity while serving will be more difficult, but if they are not successful there, they'll have a side out. Meppelink serves. Juliana looking to keep Brazil in this match. And she does just that. Now here's the chance for the Dutch to wrap it up here. Receiving the Brazilian serve.
from uh, Maria Antonelli. Second match point. It's all tied at 20 all. Not the best of sets from Van Ersel for Mappelink. A little too tight. Took a risk, tried to put it up on the net, but threw it over the net so the offensive player, Juliana, could put it away. Good shot from Mappelink. Taking full advantage of her height at 183 centimeters here. Well, the last point, Brazil tying that up. That was that important play that they had to have a point. Right now, it's a deuce game. Whoever can get that two point advantage. Van Ersel, third match point for the Netherlands. Good, powerful serve. Juliana sets it up for Antonelli. Meppel links at the net. She blocks well. Oh, and Antonelli, on the second time of asking, finishes it. Ties the scores once again. Netherlands had a chance here, but Antonelli too quick on the trigger. Van Ersel caught a little bit out of position, and they tie it up at 21. This thing could be over quickly, or the Brazilians could turn the tables, and we could be going three. Juliana with service. Floats the ball deep to Meppelink. Meppelink now on the attack. Antonelli, Juliana, back to Antonelli. On the first ball, not a good move from Van Ersel. Celebrations for the Brazilians because now they have set points. The Brazilians have really hung in there and played smart when they had to get that point. Serving 19 to 20, they got it. And now they have taken the upper hand. The Netherlands calling a timeout here. And remember last time that they called a timeout in the first set, they really came out on fire, and it changed things around. The question is, can they do that right now, knowing the urgency on the Brazilian side? They're in a corner, scratching, fighting, doing anything they can. They played very consistent on this replay. She tries to kind of control that overhand, and we've seen her go over on one in that situation, but unable to handle it. There's the embrace by the Brazilians. Very traditional, that hug, and they know how important that point was. Set point for Brazil to take this women's semi-final to a third set. Juliana to serve. The Brazilian number one. Meppelink sets for Van Ersel. Oh, and they're there! We go to three sets. Juliana is absolutely ecstatic. They pulled this one out of the fire. Turning the tables on the Dutch with two, three match points for Holland, but failing. And when the pressure shots came, the Brazilians delivered. You have to love the intensity of Juliana getting up, taking that line position, pressing over the net. And as she sees it goes down, she motions directly to the crowd. She knows she needs one more, one more. Let's not get too excited just yet. We're just tied. But she knows that block so important. If she can get a few blocks here in the third set, the Brazilians might pull this off. But I'll tell you what, the Netherlands did have their chances. They had that opportunity. Receiving serve, 19-20. Remember that first match ball, and they could not handle it. Taking a look at the stats, Brazil leading in that block category, and that might be the difference. Also leading in the ace category, just by one or two points. It comes down to the little things, not the big blocks. It's the little things, getting in position, getting out of trouble when you don't pass the ball well. That is going to be the difference when we start set number three. Great work from Brazil. Now this becomes a test for both teams. The Netherlands need to find the consistency 
and the confidence that they demonstrated in the first set. And Brazil, well, showing their tenacity more than anything else. With a three match points coming the Dutch players' way, but fighting for absolutely every shot, every point, turning the tables on the Dutch, taking that second set. And of course, Dane, the third set is the first team to 15. Earlier in this competition and in Porec last weekend, you described the third set as a little bit of a sprint. Important to get a good early start. Yeah, good early start. These are very equal teams. You don't want the opposition to get a lead on you because then you have to kind of dig yourself out of a hole. Make sure you start quick. There's no time to work yourself into this set. It starts and finishes quickly and obviously the Netherlands opting to receive serve first to get that first point on the board. That could be very important when we get to the end of the set. Is that Marlene van Ursel with service, 27-year-old out of Amsterdam. Let's not forget that Holland will be hosting the World Championships at the end of this month in uh, The Hague. That is a lovely shot from uh, Juliana Felisperta. Netherlands showing they're going to come out aggressive. A nice top spin jump serve. It's handled well by Juliana, and she's able to put it away cross court. And Nick, you talk about those world championships coming in a few weeks. This team from the Netherlands, Meppelink and Van Ersel, will be the number one seed in those world championships. That's a good spike from uh, Madeleine uh, Meppelink. Youngest player on the court at just 25 years of age but also the tallest player on the court at 183 centimeters. Van Ersel gives her a nice set to hit, gives her a good call. Both teams playing error-free so far in the third. Float serve from Meppelink. Juliana sets the ball up for Antone to attack for Brazil. Perfect execution. Antonelli going for the line and going exactly on top of the line. The Dutch would like to receive serve and get that 3-2 advantage before the side switch. Maria Antonelli with service. Meppelink on the attack for Holland. Juliana sets for Antonelli now. And that is a good point for Brazil. 3-2, side switch at 5, not 7 in the third and final set. So Brazil strikes first here and gets the advantage on the first side switch. Up three to two, putting a lot of pressure on the Netherlands and really stepping up their game. You talked about persistence and their tenacity. The Brazilians have really played well here late in the match. That's a good save from Antonelli. Now she looks to finish it. And it is now 4-2 for Brazil. Finding some good rhythm here. Aggressive play right there by Antonelli. And I only can, you know, you only can laugh to think that right now the Netherlands are thinking to themselves, we could have wrapped this thing up in two. And now they're in a dogfight. And Van Ersel takes it on the second ball to success for Holland. Really smart play by Van Ersel. Recognizing the defense a little bit out of sync, and as soon as you recognize it, that's usually the best time to go over on the second contact. European champions with service. Already with one silver medal in the Grand Slam in Moscow, one silver medal from the Open competition in Luzerne this season. Oh, good shot again from Van Ersel. Ties the scores at four all. Smart shot, aggressive shot. Falls off the net, so it looks like Brazil has the advantage, but using her power and placement, Van Ersel puts it in the right spot. Powerful jump, spinning serve. Juliana's at the net with Meppelink. And uh, Juliana seems to be winning that uh, individual joust and battle with uh, Meppelink here. 
Tight set, a little close. Juliana opts for that little poke shot. You gotta break that out sometimes when the ball is too close to the net and the blocker is looming. looming. That's a better strike at the net from Mepolink. Five all. Side out for Brazil. For the Netherlands, I should say, my apologies. Nepalink, as you mentioned, the tallest player on the court right now at six feet. Gets up and is very effective with that angle shot, even against the block. And it is at Madeline at Nepalink with service. Not as successful in the second ball that time at Mepelink. Oh, Juliana, persistence once again. Keeps going at it, mixing it up, burying the shots. Smart shot right down the alley between the blocker and the antenna. Didn't look like there was much room there, but somehow Juliana found it. As Brazil with a narrow lead. Not a lot of runs of points happening. Both teams doing very well, receiving serve and putting that ball away. Antonelli with a good strong serve right down the middle here. That ball too, too hot to handle, huh? Big hit by Van Ursel, putting that ball away. And each team knowing how important this is, this second Swat's major series event in Stavanger is huge. 800 Olympic qualifying points on the line. Both these teams want to get to the final. Good service from Van Ersel. Here's Juliana on the attack for Brazil. Nepalink sets for Van Ersel to try and finish it. Puts it down the middle of the Brazilians. And Juliana again. Van Ersel takes it on the first ball. Juliana attacks again. Out of bounds, no touch on the block. The celebration for the Netherlands. Brazil had quite an opportunity, actually two opportunities, and this time it goes wide. Juliana trying to be a little bit too tricky there and too precise, and now the Netherlands take the lead. Van Ersel with service. Juliana sets for Antonelli here on the attack for Brazil. Oh, good shot. Down the alley. Read it perfectly. Mepelink is blocking line in that situation. She's got to seal that line and not allow Antonelli to hit it. But Antonelli notices it's not covered and squeaks it through. Very close in this third and final set. Seven points all. Brazil with service. Juliana floats the ball way too deep. Whoa, that one not even close. Probably ended about 10 feet long of the court. So that's the risk sometimes with that float serve. And the wind is in her face in that situation. So she might have hit it a little too hard, thinking the wind would push it down. But it floated and went too far. Now the Netherlands moving into what I would call the good side. They have the wind in their face. And they turn it to their advantage. Nepalink with service. Antonelli sets it all up for Juliana here. And again, Juliana successfully brushes it off the hands of that Mepelink to level the scores. Yeah, it looked like Mepelink in the right blocking position, but even if you're in the right position, sometimes that ball can just ricochet off the wrong arm and out of bounds. Maria Antonelli. Oh, Mepelink with a nice touch there. Catching the Brazilian slightly out of position, not at the back nor the front of the court. Yeah, usually when you have a retreating blocker, you hit it right at that retreating blocker, which would be Juliana, but instead, see what Mepelink did. She took a lot off it. Both defenders on their heels, resulting in the point for the Dutch. Van Ersel to serve. Oh, that's another very strong and hard-hitting jump serve. Antonelli. Oh, yes. That's a great shot from Juliana. Class, quality, and delivery when the pressure was on. Yeah, the dig 
needs to stay on the Dutch side, but it gets too close and sails over to Brazil side, and Juliana knows how to capitalize in a situation like that, definitely making the Dutch pay. Juliana takes the service for Brazil. Nine all. Third set can only go to 15 or two points clear. Side out for the Dutch. This time, Van Ersel showing her power. That's what it's going to take right there. That's a perfect example. Beautiful pass, nice set, and then the power from inside out to that line. Nothing the defense can do about it. Netherlands with the advantage. A cheeky little drop serve from Meppelink. Can Meppelink finish it now to go too clear? Antonelli does what the Dutch wanted to do. Leveled the scores. Great spike. It's a major error right here. They get him in trouble. Exactly what they want, the Dutch. Then they have a free ball opportunity. Meppelink, instead of hitting the ball, rolls it. Maria Antonelli then digs the ball. And what does she do? She puts it away. Meppelink knows she missed a huge opportunity right there to go up by two. Not too dissimilar to the mistakes that the Dutch made in the second set to let the, Braz the Brazilians take it. Antonelli fired up here. That's what happens when you let off the gas just for a second. When Nepalink had that opportunity in the last play, it cost them. They tied it up at 10, and now you see another error by the Dutch. So two points in a row. No one had been giving away any type of run of points. Now Brazil on a 2-0 run. And then watch Antonelli try and cash in here even further. Nepalink up at the net again, blocked by Juliana. And it's been given to uh, the Brazilians a touch of the net from Nepalink. Here's the replay. Net violation. The offensive players hand follow throughs get caught in the net. A little fish in the net right there. Hooked the net, and Juliana called it immediately. That is a massive point. So ever since that opportunity to put the ball away, the Netherlands did not. The Brazilians on a three to zero run, giving them a two point edge and enough. They have the difference right now. Now they just need to side out if you're Brazil, receive serve three more times, and this one would be all over. They would be moving to the final. For the Netherlands, what do they need to do? Well, they need to capitalize when they get opportunities. They have one. Remember, let's go back to 1920 in the second set, and they couldn't do it. There's that replay of the net violation by Meppeling, unfortunately following through. But more importantly, that happens here and there. But more importantly, this three-point run for Brazil is putting the Dutch in a tough spot. Well, that could be the turning point of this match. 12-10, Antonelli with service after the Dutch timeout. Set for Meppelink. That is such an important score. Very important, right there. Meppelink putting the ball away, challenging the defender in the backcourt. Antonelli right in the spot, but on her heels instead of her toes. That's why she doesn't get that ball in the air. The Dutch need to break Brazil here right now with their service, Van Ersel with the ball. It's a very strong, powerful spinning jump serve. It's way too long. That two-point advantage is back with Brazil, 13-11. Juliana to take service here now. Meppelink on the attack. Good dig from Antonelli. Oh, taken on the second ball from Juliana. Meppelink once again. Antonelli gets one hand to it. Meppelink gets it away this time. You've got to win by two clear points. It's the first of 15. You can see why the Dutch are celebrating. So important not to let Brazil take that point. It's a side switch. Holland with service. 
That was a must point for the Netherlands. Now they switch to what I would call the good side. They have the win in their face, and they need a point, and they need it right now. Meppeling with service. Antonelli sets the ball for Giuliana. Meppelink now sets it for Van Ersel, takes it on the second ball. Antonelli at the net with Meppelink. Again on the second ball from Meppelink. Great work from Van Ersel at the back of the Dutch court, and Van Ersel finishes it. That's an absolutely huge play by the Netherlands. They're actually not hitting that ball on the second ball. There's a micro touch on the block. Therefore, they're having to go over on what looks like the second ball, but it is the third contact because that block counts. But how about the tenacious play right now by the Netherlands? Like I said, they needed a point and they needed it right then to tie it up, forcing Brazil to call a timeout. This could not be any closer. It's gonna be a game to two. Who wants it more? There is the confirmation of the three points, but two back-to-back. -back. Crucial to keep the Netherlands in this semi-final clash. One set all Brazil and the Dutch. 13 all in the third and final set. You must win by clear, two clear points. So it now becomes a real pressure match. With very little room for error from either side here. The Brazilians will be receiving, and remember, when you're receiving, you have that advantage right now. The question is, can they score the point, or can the Netherlands somehow maybe manufacture an ace? It doesn't look like a traditional topspin serve. It's going to be a jump float by Mepelink. Antonelli sets the ball for Juliana. First point goes to Brazil. And they will serve, but it is match point for Giuliana and Antonelli. Antonelli with service. Nepolink levels the scores at 14 all. How about that? The set was a bit questionable and the Brazilians didn't like it. They thought it was a double contact on the set, but no call by the ref. You see the anger out of Maria Antonelli. Thought that they might win on that technicality, but no, 14 all. Van Ersel to serve for the Netherlands. Big jump serve right down the middle. It's too long. Well, a real pressure moment, a pressure serve. Just a little too long. Brazil take the advantage, 15-14. It's their second match point. Now, Juliana with service. It could be an all-Brazilian final if this is successful. Good save from Antonelli. Now, can she finish it? Yes, she can! Juliana and Antonelli, after losing the first set, took the second and the third, 16-14.